Hello and welcome to Nali Notions. This is a quick demo on the pregnancy tracker template. Now this was requested by several of my customers who have downloaded the Notion um, period tracker. So here it is. I finally have finished it. I did take a little break for a while, but it is now complete and there is quite a bit to it. So when you go to duplicate it, it may take a few minutes to um, fully duplicate. So just be a little bit patient. When you first get it, you'll see this page here and you want to keep this page. It has the menu here and this menu has all the databases in it. So this is a database with databases in it. It is a sync menu. I would keep it as a sync menu. So whenever you want to add a page and move this menu anywhere, you can just copy sync, paste, wherever you'd like. So you're going to go to start here. So yes, I am pregnant. And then here's where you will add your pregnancy. So it can be your first, second, third, whatever you want to name it. And then you add your last menstrual period. Um, now, if you have already have the notion period tracker, you could also always make this like a um, relation to that tracker and then just find your last period. So this would be, it's up to you how you want to do it. But one easy way is just to add it right in here and then go to the home page. So in home page, you have an overview of your appointments timeline. You have your current week here, the countdown over here, your a week view of your daily tracker um, for your daily tracker you may have photos so those will be in here they can show up right here and you could filter this however you'd like if you have any projects this month they will show up here and then right here you have the month overview of your daily trackers on this side you also have where you can add another pregnancy. Um, this will display your to-dos for this week. If you want to add more to-dos, you'll add them in here. Um, and then right here is an overview of your finances. And this is that menu. So you'll probably want to first go into your current week. Um, you'll be able to see your appointments, whatever you're entered in for baby kicks. You can enter in baby kicks here. And then you have your sidebar over here, which is the menu in the current week. You'll see this on mostly every page. And this is an overview blog style telling you about week five of your pregnancy. You have the picture showing the baby, the fetus, what it looks like at week five, and just a brief summary. And then here you can see some information about your body, your baby. You can also have questions and tips. These are all your trackers and then you can enter information in the journal entry and now this you can archive and the reason you would want to archive the journal is let's say you are done with this pregnancy and you're pregnant again you want to archive your old pregnancies um, so you just click archive and then you'll be able to see it under databases all your archive journals in there and you can filter them by whichever pregnancy. So yeah, when you go to archive it, make sure you enter in what pregnancy it was. And for the trackers, you can filter those for whatever pregnancy. Um, the rest of this is just general information. So when you do have an another pregnancy, those are the only two things. Like you will archive your journal and filter trackers for the current pregnancy. 
So those are the only two where you will personalize it. And then here we have a view of all the weeks and sort of by trimesters and then toggle buttons if you want to toggle through each week. Just a quick way to view the weeks and you have your to do's there. So when you, if you want to add another to do, you would just click here, write whatever it is. Another way is you can search through here where there are some already added in. Um, so like if I go to the home now, you can see it's right there and I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. When you go to add another pregnancy, you'll go here. And what you would do is go into all. Now, if this pregnant, now this pregnancy is going to have all the weeks in it. So let's just real quick, let me just change this to 2022. So what you would do, want this up at the top here. To clear it out, you're going to click on here and then you would drag that and that would clear all the weeks out really quickly so that you can add in another, your current pregnancy. But we're going to go ahead and change this back to 2023. You need to clear out the weeks in order to see that because you can only have one pregnancy at a time concurrently. Okay, so we're going to go into make an appointment. And as you can see, you can add your appointment here and you have your this month. Feed. This is your contacts. You can easily add in the information in here. Oh, and then your appointment data, when you add in a week, so let's say we say it's currently week five, you will get a suggested appointment and then you go ahead and add it in here if you want. So you can say, okay, and add it in right there. And then you have your month view there. Down here is your contacts. Um, this is pretty cool because you can click right in there and it will take you straight to Google Maps after you enter in the address. It's also linked to the Family History Health database, um, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Now we are going to go into stats. In stats, you can see how many times um, for each symptom, mood, vitamins, or medications. If you even want to see the weeks, you could see which weeks they'll pop up there. If you want to see your um, current trackers really quickly, you can always also just click right there and then you can see them here. You can get a quick view of your trimesters. There's some information and you'll see each week's, which these are also in there. You can create projects such as your baby shower, your nursery. You have little sprints down here. This is the timeline view. And then these are the actual, all oh, this is your whole to-dos database view for your projects. Now, no projects will be toggled that way, but let's see. Baby shower. So this is everything you need to do for your baby shower. And then if you go down here, you even have the little items. Now these are going to pop up on week 12. So it will be on your home dash. So as you do them, you'll check them off. And then as you can see, it's 11% of baby shower. Once they're all checked off, you it will show 100% for your baby shower. OK, 
Okay. This is another view of the sprints. Um, and sprints are just like things you want to do in a certain time. So it's your to do's for your projects and you can separate them by sprints and have a certain timeline. This is a, where you can edit the description and say if they are done or whatever. Um, then you have this whole pair for baby section. You have your baby gear. This is a whole database sort of into categories that you can toggle. And then you could say have, need, check whichever button you want. Um, you can view this however you want. You can do the table view. This right here is in the board view. So however you want to view it, you can filter it and whatever. Um, there is a finance tracker here. And I just, I added in a few things. You can delete them. This is just to kind of show you how it works. So let's say you want to get a nightlight and that is in your baby gear data. You can just go ahead and click on that and then put that you have it. And you can see your expenses for the year, how much you spend on average monthly for each expense, and if you have over or under spent. And you can set your budgets. This is pretty neat because you can easily just type in whatever you want to search for. So doctors who specialize in nutrition. And then right, right from here, you can just click on these and it will take you um, this database. I have the source for where I've got this database from under resources and info. OK. And the same thing is for finding a midwife. It's the same database. There is a pregnancy quiz, which is kind of fun. So how many trimesters are there in a typical pregnancy? You go ahead and guess, and then you can say, yeah, there you go. And then you can put if you had it correct or not, and then you know study. It's a little pregnancy test. I have also added a baby's name database. There's a, quite a bit of names in here. You can even search for some. Let's start by like J. How come J's aren't coming up? I just put it. Yes, whatever. Um, I've sorted them by boys, girls, boys slash girls. If you favorite them, you can see them there. You know, all that. There's so many. Um, I think I only have where it loads a few at a time. And then you can also add your own. Okay. Over here is just some information. And you can always add in your own little things that you find. Like add a page of information, little tips and articles you can always add it in there for quick reference um, health the same thing now for family history there's a database where you can add in your family members link them to your contacts and then add in their medical issues and relations and all of that there is a medical documents table here um, Now you can put the attachments of the document here or I would, or you can open up and do like a Google Drive link. However you want to quickly access your documents. I would do it probably through Google Drive though. Um, let's see. tips on nutrition and you know you can always add your own stuff to all of this now 
Notion AI has helped me with a lot of this. And I, I should put that in my source resources, which I will. This is your medications here. Information about that. Tips. You can add in your own little tips that you find. And then this is just all the databases. And then resources and info. And here is where you can access some icons and pics that I've used. If you want to leave a review, you can click right on here and then click on here and then it will take you to that. I would um, really appreciate if you would leave a review if you purchase because it helps. It helps to have reviews. And all it's really doing is you're just clicking one star, two star, three star, four star, five stars. Now, if you don't want to give it five stars, you can always contact me through my bio page. Um, I have all the links in here. And let me know why before you give me anything less than five stars. And first, just to see if I can help you with any reasons why you don't like it. Because it could be a bug in it, you know, that I didn't notice yet. Something weird is going on with it. Um, or maybe there's just, you don't fully understand how it works. It's too complicated, whatever it is or you want something more to it, just contact me. And first, let's see if we can figure out how to make the template work better for you. And then if you still don't like it, I understand. Whatever stars you leave me. Okay. I think that's it. I think I covered everything. I hope you like it. A lot of work did go into this template. That is why it is $25. Um, but for three days, it is on sale for $10. I will leave the link in the description below. And that is it. Thank you and have a great day.